Welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some River Shaper Fiora. We've got a new deck here. Uh, this deck is about uh, playing like a single threat and protecting it. So obviously we have Fiora, which we all, you know, you all know about Fiora. You know, trying to uh, kill four enemies with Fiora, keep it alive, then you win the game. So that's that's uh, goal number one. But then also just River Shaper. Whenever R River Shaper strikes, we draw a spell. So we can get more protection spells each time River Shaper strikes. Um, so to, to keep those alive, <clears throat> we have, first of all, we have like standalone. So like we don't play anything turn one, we don't play anything turn two, turn three, we can play either Fiora or River Shaper and then immediately standalone them, um, make them larger. We also have like the Lauren Blade Keeper to make them larger. So other ways to help River Shaper stay alive. But then we have, you know, Twin Disciplines, Prismatic Barrier, um, you know, Deny, Spirit's Refuge, even some, some Radiant Strikes. We can even give them barriers with Bright Steel Protector. So we have lots of ways to keep these things alive. We also have a couple other three mana threats with like Emerald Awakener that can be uh, amazing in the late game, giving us that Life Steal. Shadow Assassin is just obviously a good card. Um, and then our other top end card is we're going with Karmas. Uh, we got three Karmas here to help get us more spells. And you know, with more spells means um, more responsibility. No. That's not how that works. More spells means more ways to protect uh, River Shaper and Fiora. There we go. That's how it works. Got a single Judgment up here to catch people off guard and hopefully win a game with Fiora Judgment. Uh, could also just draw a lot of cards with River Shaper Judgment. Um, but that's our deck. So let's let's play some games, see how it goes. First time playing River Shaper. Yeah, no, I'm doing great, Orasonic. Yeah, doing great. Um, it's supposed to get, like, the weather's supposed to be really nice here this week. Like, uh, starting tomorrow, and then the next, like, three or four days is all going to be in the 80s. So I'm looking forward to that. I'm going to be taking the dogs on some walks. Um. Alright, we have the standalone. I like that. I don't, don't love Awakener, though. Do I want to get rid of Radiant Strike also? I guess I get rid of Radiant Strike also. I need River Shaper or Fiora. Okay. Well, really, like, River Shaper is probably the card that we want more. This isn't... This doesn't seem like probably the best matchup for us. Because my, my opponent's deck, they can play a super long game with Karma and Thresh. So that's probably bad for me. I wonder if I should play Shadow Assassin here instead of Fiora. I never hold back just the way I like it. Likes having deny available in case of vengeance. Keeps them from gaining three life. All right, fair enough, I guess.
and you deny for that. Certainly. I only have two denies, though. Maybe I should have three denies? I definitely thought about having a third deny instead of, like, a Spirit's Refuge, but I, I just went with the two. Like, two Refuge, two deny. Wish I had a third deny right about now. Attacks. Got nine coming in. Oh, I probably should have just used double twin disciplines here, shouldn't I? Let's see. If I did double twin disciplines, one, two, three, four, five, six, then I would have had enough for one refuge. Maybe I should have done that. Probably not. I have to be worried about ruination. If I just play Karma, now I can play Karma. I was gonna say if I played Karma before, I couldn't do anything about ruination. I don't think I uh, try playing Fiora, even though I could try to like Fiora Judgment. Oh, I, I would need one more mana for Fiora Judgment anyway. But I have to be worried about. Um... Okay, so this is. Thresh has seen zero creatures die, so that's one, two, three, four. No okay. problem. I do have to be worried about ruination. Which I would not be surprised for ruination to show up here. Peace begins within. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. So I could use Twin Disciplines to save this, but they still get the two spiders. Instead, I'm going to try to have the uh, Shadow Assassin. Oh, that's so great, having the extra karma. All right, so we're just going to have the Shadow Assassin detain my... By my honor, you must die. Um... Gonna detain the karma. Mm -hmm. 
Because they have to kill the Shadow Assassin, otherwise the Shadow Assassin is going to be killing them. And whenever they do, we get... We get Karma back. No. The time is place for my lady. I need only one to win. Dang. That's close. That is close. Hmm. Come on. Come on. So obviously this is my only hope. Then having seven cards over there, I can't imagine this actually works.
Yeah, I guess I could have saved Fiora and then tried Fiora Judgment. Wasn't wasn't gonna matter, but yeah, I guess I guess I should have tried that. Oh right, because that thing had my that thing had my Karma behind it anyway. I forgot about my Karma. So yes, I definitely should have saved Fiora, because then I could have got the Karma, and then because then with the Karma I would have had two Judgments, but still wouldn't really matter. That second Vengeance they had really got me. I had to deny for the first one, but the second Vengeance. That one really hurt. Alright, I'll keep this. This hand looks just fine. And then they kept on having all those, you know, like those vile feasts. Over and over having vile feast for every, every barrier card I had, they had a vile feast for. Which was quite annoying. Stuck, you gotta be pretty patient on, and I feel like I could have had and could have done something a little different there, but Karma's a tough one. Karma's a tough one to beat. Which is why we're playing our own karmas. Come on, opponent, you gotta gotta do stuff. I want to take a minute every single turn. Come on. Sir Tails, love the content. Really enjoy the Animal Crossing chill stream. Awesome. Thanks, Sir Tails. Yeah, that was a lot of fun. I'd like to play that game again here soon. I haven't picked it up since. Um, I was going to maybe check in on the on the island after stream tonight. Yeah, that'll be a, that'll be a fun one to to play some more of on stream. I'm glad you that Radiant Strike. That was a good draw right here. Something else to kind of protect the Fiora. Well, that's why I kept a backup Fiora. No, they dealt four damage. Boo. All right, go get him, Karma. There is life, there is hope. Quite right, quite right. All right, definitely want to kill this professor before they just start playing some more one-cost allies. So we're gonna have these two fights. My tenure. <laughs> My tenure. Follow along, little ones. For the honor of my house.
We will not stand by. What have horrors done to you? No. Wish I would have done that first. Relentless pursuit. Ooh, River Shaper. Okay, okay. Now we're doing it. I think this will keep them from attacking on the ground. Yep. So it's not a very good use of a single combat, but it's also a draw card. Deny. We're going to have a lot of spells. We're going to have a lot of spells. have a lot of spells too. It's certainly possible I should be using the rally next turn. Honor guide me. What have horrors done to you? I'm not protecting the Fiora anymore. Or sorry, the River Shaper anymore. Alright, River Shaper's gone. But Fiora will keep on getting us more spells. It's going to be a good card. My path is clear. That's going to be a good one. An open heart teaches more than open eyes.
This deck's kind of weird. You know, I feel like I, I haven't been playing this optimally. It's different. My opponent's drawn a ton of, ton of cards also. So they're at 19 cards left. I'm at 25. I wonder if we're going to mill them out. I wonder if that's possible. Peace begins within. My wisdom is now my I think we're going to mill them out. Gosh, we're out so many spells. We fight. Good luck. Have fun. Avarosans, stand together. So 13 mana. Let's bounce that. We're down to nine. So I can barrier. Barrier. And I still have Twin Disciplines available. I want to bounce Braum because I don't want that Braum to be a 1-6 that's uh, getting free Mighty Poros and everything. They're discarding their hands. So, bye bye, Brom. Hmm, Brom and two take hearts. Probably should attack with that thing too. Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> this deck's crazy. It's got so many spells. No, 
Brittle Steel. No. That's their third Brittle Steel. So at least they're out of those. Um, and they're down to 13 cards. Like, it's, I honestly am probably just going to be milling them out. Like, that's probably the way I win this. Do I even barrier this? If I bury it, then I don't have Karma protected anymore. And I want Karma protected. This is kind of broken. <clears throat> Alright, so I took a lot of damage, but I'm just going to gain 14 lives, so we're going to go back up to 20. Look within. <laughs> That's one tough Poro. One tough Poro. On the verge of something. Forgot, I probably forgot that I can just deny this. Last time. Cease. Even though I don't know if them drawing three is necessarily bad for me. Well, it is. I guess that's the answer. It is bad for me. Um, hmm. My shield is yours. Oh, that's right. The the previous time I had I had three me and I couldn't deny. Good call. So can we survive another 11 turns? The halls are bound. We played Tina.
interesting. A couple of stand uniteds. I forgot they're going to switch back and then they'll... They don't actually move spawns. But I can... I, st I still have the ability to put them where I want them. <laughs> right. They don't actually switch spots. Oh, right, that was going to be doubled. I forgot that it was doubled. Ugh, I shouldn't have used that here. I just wasted wasted a 3-3. Three, three. Or I should have just chump locked this 2-3. Now I can't play the 6-6. Six, six. Alright, well that wasn't great. Yeah, jump. You wanna come up here, puppy? I know this isn't really a fruitful attack. They're gonna have two creatures die, and I have three, and I used a spell. Four. I have four, and I used a spell. That's okay. Basically, I'm fine with it. They gotta kill me with eight more cards. Seems like it's pretty difficult for them. We swim within the flows of magic. Hmm. 
guess they have to come to me because they're they ran out of room. Fiora. Yeah, that's true. This this is gonna be awesome. I should probably just strike with just attack with the river shaper just to strike and draw a spell. Yeah, this thing will give four units, and yeah, so we'll get four. Dauntless vanguards, and they all get plus two, plus two. I definitely should have attacked with the Shadow Assassin, also. We have five cards left. So what if I... I was going to say... Okay, I thought they were going to maybe play a unit here. This thing about going, like, Relentless Pursuit... Dang, an 8-8 Elusive Poro? I have 14 cards, they have four. They've drawn a lot more. Which looks, that looks crazy, they've drawn a lot more, but they have. I've, I've created a lot of cards with these Karmas, Insights of Ages, and stuff like that. So this is trying to get another Braum. Unfortunately, double Relentless Pursuit only means um, one attack token. Once you have the attack token, you can't gain it again. So the second one doesn't do anything. For the honor of House Laurent. So I'm going to attack with this River Shaper just to basically just to draw a spell. So I don't really need it.
I have a pretty hard time seeing them win this game. Well, that's just plain rude. Okay, so next turn we have Fiora. Kill something. Let them eat souls. All down. Knowledge screens from many sources. Should have done this first, obviously. Purify is great. We can turn like this Omen Hawk into like a 1-1. A one -one. They have Take Heart. even mill them out. We are going to mill them out, but we can also just win this anyway. We can just win this normally. That was a long game. Did we did we do no damage to their nexus the entire the entire game? That'd be I think they gained some life. Okay, you just got here. I think they gained some life, but yeah, that was a, a crazy long game, as you could tell by my opponent having three cards left. Well, this card's gone, um, and we'll keep the others. Yeah, that was a cool deck, though. Try and pour old Braum. Poor old Braum. Doesn't get the win. Poor Obram. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. We really want to attack on turn three of this deck. doesn't look like we get to. Let's 
So I'm playing against some slow opponents. Fiora first kill? Question mark? Okay, Fiora first kill. Opponent's playing pretty slow. There we go. I don't bite. Sure you don't. Shape the land and give it life. <laughs> well, we says if you don't draw Fiora Karma, the deck feels bad. We also have River Shaper, also. I mean, like, basically, if we don't have Fiora or River Shaper in our opener, we just mulligan all the other cards. Like, you know, you do get to mulligan and everything. But yeah, you you want Fiora and River Shaper right away, but. Uh... No, I think if you level up Fiora, then the next Fiora you play will be leveled up. But I I actually don't know exactly how it works. Like, maybe it needs more... I'm not exactly sure how that, that's going to work, honestly. Yeah, actually, I don't know. Um... Okay, you have to kill four enemies again as, as level up for Fiora. Stats will be leveled, but you still need the four kills. Gotcha. Alright, so that's how that works. According to everyone in chat. So that's gotta be it. Eight mana. Stop. I was worried about that. This would be cool. So doing this gives Fiora her, her second kill, so she levels up. 
So now the Vile Feast doesn't. From the river folk. Um, hmm. How do we want to do this one now? We have more vile feasts, it's gonna be really annoying. Because obviously, I kind of want to just give this a barrier and, and kill a bigger thing. But now they have a vile feast. That's problematic. I mean, I guess I have the twin discipline, so if I go prismatic. Then I don't have the life gain. Strike without worry. I never try. Glad they didn't have another Vile Feast. Plus surrendered. There you go, Fiora kill. I feel like we're gonna get a lot of kills Fiora style. All right, so we're two and one. This is probably going to be a long deck. We may not play all 10 games of this deck, honestly. Because we're, we're an hour in, in 2 and 1. So I'm not really going to be playing over 2 hours for a deck. So we'll see. Uh, Draven Ezreal. What do I want to deny in their deck? Yeah, I mean, there's definitely stuff to deny. All right. Um, I have the the YouTube link right here, and there's the code in the info. No, this is a pretty new chair. Um, darn. So no, I haven't always been gaming in this chair. It's pretty new. Maybe like, you know, a month. Yeah, probably about a month ago. Yeah, sorry, I had, I had the camera down to try to get Pup, but uh, this is annoying. This is annoying. Nothing to hold me back.
I will learn from you. That could have been the wrong choice by me. Like, maybe I should have... Maybe I should have just blocked the 1-1, one -one, since they attacked with the 1-1 one -one with my 2-2 two -two life linker. And then I could just could have attacked with it again as a 2-1 and, and traded. Um... Since we have the Radiant Strike, I, can af I think I could afford just playing this Karma. I was gonna say even if they, you know, if they had uh, get excited. That's just the best card for me to deny um, in their deck. It's, the, it's their most expensive spell as far as denying, and it's the only spell they have that's more expensive is um, get ex or, uh, Progress Day, but Progress Day is Burst Speed. I'll just let this happen. Don't need to risk anything. using some of my mana before it all goes away. Nice. That should be an easy way to win. Let's see, look at look at Karma getting us some good spells. Getting us a single combat. I like our chances here. So they're basically tapped out. I'm 
I'm hoping this works. That Noxian Guillotine is actually pretty good here. I can only give allies stuff. Darn. Darn. That's too bad, Boop. This will be quick. So close. That Noxian Guillotine was quite good. Always two steps ahead. But at least I'm always two steps ahead. Okay. Perfect. Awesome. So, okay. I'll play on y'all being here. That's that's going to be great. Yeah, I can't wait. Only a couple of weeks. Sweet. Dang, that's a lot of spells. All right, jury rig. Get excited. And Blade's Edge. All right, so we will barrier life steal this. And, oh, I, I should've just gave a quick attack. Uh, I already want to redo. Yeah, I should have just done this. Give it this quick attack. I messed that up. The party has I messed that up. I should not use the barrier there. I should have used the quick attack. My wisdom is not my strength. So we'll see. They're, you know, like they're not in a bad spot, especially if they can kill Fiora. Yeah, they can kill Fiora. Everything I've worked. They're in a pretty decent spot now. The halls are bold with blades in hand. Yeah, I, I really messed up which card I should have used. Darn. Now, now it looks like I lost. It's too bad. This is my cause. Yep, tilt. This went from a game that I thought I was certainly winning not that long ago. Uh, a judgment makes like one of your allies that's battling strike every single ally that the opponent has that's, that's battling. It's super expensive. This thing is going to be dying here anyway. I'll just go ahead and use it right now.
Raven down. No. Check me out. Oh, that's the worst card we could possibly see. Really wish. Watch and learn. You have to stop. You are gonna ruin my chair, Harvey. That is surprising. I guess they're I guess that doesn't kill the Awakener anyway. Hey. Are they coming up here or not? So, of course, the reason why I'm doing that... Sorry, of course, the reason why I'm doing that is to get Emerald Awakener as my only creature. That sentry was really good. Darn, I'm dead. That sentry was really good. I mean, that was a game I did not think I was losing, but that Noxious Guillotine was like the... That's like their one... That was... Yeah, that's probably like their only way to kill my Fiora, because I, you know, had all the protection spells. They couldn't kill it by damage. So, yeah, I guess Guillotine was the only card they could have had. And then after that, they had to have Mystic Shot also. Because um, then I, you know, I had the standalone, or I had the. Uh, um, I had those those fight spells, where so they had to have Mystic Shot. And they did. As you can see, right, my plan right now is River Shaper standalone. I wish we were attacking on turn three. And just try to draw spells for every time River Shaper strikes. What form will the waters take? So young. So 
good card to deny. Even if they have, you know, another trick to kill my River Shaper, it's not not the end of the world. We gotta back up River Shaper. Not the end of the world. Fiora. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. This is some protection for this Fiora. Let them so. Try me. Wow, with judgment against the Go White Spider deck. That is pretty good. I'm just going to keep double twin disciplines available right now. I don't think there's two mana deal three damage because Black Spear is not a card anymore. River shape the land and give it life. Well, Black Spear is still a card, of course, but it's it costs three mana now, so it's three mana deal three damage. I guess I can't play my opponent's cards. Yes, they don't even want to play a creature now. Which is fine with me. I don't know how they're going to win if they don't play any creatures. Oh man, if they just ruination me, how man, that would have been real this would be real bad if they just ruination me, but I feel like they would have just ruinationed after I played the Shadow Assassin, right? Like they would have already cast ruination if they had it. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Hmm. 
It's gonna be interesting to see how this works out. Eight mana. That's still me staying alive. They have to have two more spells, you know, they have to have something here, and then I can single combat, and then they have to have something else afterwards, so they have to have, you know, we're basically forced them to have three pieces of interaction. I wish I had the mana to cast judgments also, but I didn't. Maybe I should have played this Awakener first. It's going to be close. Down to one mana. I think this should work now. This will be cool. Yes, it does. Yora. Three and two. All right, yeah, we're definitely not playing 10, 10 games of this deck. This is a very, very slow deck. But uh, the games are kind of under your control. Nivea Thresh. This is not good. I don't like the Nivea Thresh matchup. Like, this hand is very good. This hand is everything we want, but I would much rather be playing against a creature deck. You know, creatures you get to kill with Fiora. And Nivea Thresh is a ruination deck, most likely. I like this. Play play creatures. I long for a worthy opponent. I will try. All right, the Vile Feast is good. That gives him a Spiderling. No. That's bad. That was a card my Fiora was going to kill. They're also going to have Vengeance. Let's 
finest blades for my lady. I need only one to win. For the honor of God. I did not attack with the 2-3 because I want to keep their 1-1 one, one alive for Fiora. Nice, another single combat. That can be good. Kind of a weird card to be playing. Come on. Forever watch. What are you doing, Pop? Are you gonna... What are you doing? What? Honestly, don't love my use of single combat here. So I want single combat to be a spell. Like, I wanted the two single combats to be after I flip Fiora, then I have the two single combats to kill two things. Oh, I don't like that at all either. That just kills both of their their creatures, so I don't get to kill them with Fiora. Ready. 
Okay. So we're taking... Four damage from these things. No, this isn't going to work, is it? So we're taking... Alright, so we take two that gets rid of the barrier, then another two. So it's three toughness. I can't actually block this with anything. Like my blade. I can't actually use Fiora to block this turn. Which is unfortunate. So basically they need vengeance or they're dead, right? The finest blades for my baby. That's basically it. They need vengeance right now. Don't have it, don't have it. Don't have vengeance. No, or that works too. No. All right, well. Yeah, I mean, I guess that works. Playing a lot of that card. Definitely think I messed this game up. Yeah, I, I really did. I really, yeah, I think I, I think I could have won that game. I think that's two of these losses that I could have won. So like that game, uh, I did. I said it at the time, and I was right that I, I really used the, the fight spell too early. That first. <laughs> Sorry, just a dog walking by. Sorry about that. But anyway, yeah, like I used the fight spell too early. I could have emptied my battlefield better. I just, I, I didn't play that game perfectly. This is a difficult deck to play. This is. 
This is a tough one. I need only one to win. Um Who does not know the name Laurel? Nothing to hold me back. We're doing pretty good here. So just you know, like they just can't really attack. That one's fine. Um Yeah, that's fine. Planning on playing Karma this turn to get some more spells. My plan right now. See how many more barrier cards they have. Okay. No barrier there, not yet. Where there is life, there is hope. Standalone, but I got two creatures now. All right, so eleven mana. So if I play River Shaper, we have eight mana left. Okay, don't need to worry about playing it. Nope. Yep. I like, I like using Fiora's Repost because then that that shovels a Fiora back in, so like we have a, a better you know better chance of drawing a Fiora's Repost. Water changes but never breaks. Hmm, that could be good. 
Probably not, though. Probably unnecessary. The single combat is great. That's the card that's good. So they have three mana left. So they would need... They would need Prismatic Barrier. Basically, exactly Prismatic Barrier. As I expected. Awesome. No prismatic barrier. Four and three. Easy. Okay. So we're gonna go to our our uh, last deck there. I, um, I like playing seven games with, with some decks, too, because that's a good odd number, kind of like a you know like the World Series. So that would have been us win the World Series in Game 7. Um, oh, yeah, I know. We didn't get to see the effect. We we did see the effect in, like, like every, the other three games. We, all, we won them all with Fiora. Honestly, this deck was good, but this was, this was a tricky deck to play, for sure. I think that uh, definitely one of the games I could have one with different sequencing and maybe a second one. Um, yeah, so this was really close to being a 6-1. So yeah, this is this was a tricky deck to play, but but honestly, it did feel really good with, like, you just get, if you like playing, like, um, you know, a deck where you have all the answers and you get to play all the spells and, and, you know, it's really, it's up to you whether you're winning or losing, this deck could be for you. Like, that's what, that's exactly how this deck felt. Um, like, you know, you always had uh, answers for everything. I did kind of want to have a, a third deny in here, and I'm not, but I'm not sure exactly where to fit it. Maybe over a Blade Keeper, uh, maybe over an Emerald Awakener. I don't know. Like those, both those cards were pretty good though. Over a Shadow Assassin, maybe over a Karma. No, I don't know exactly where it would fit in a, a third deny, but I, I would like a third deny. Um, maybe a bright steel. Maybe instead of one of the bright steel protectors, I could see it instead of one of the bright steel protectors. Maybe uh, we never got to use the judgment, but it's kind of it's probably good to have one judgment in the deck. Standalone was awesome, and so just having like your three drop plus standalone. Um, but this is a, a slow deck, you know. Like it's a, it's a slow kill with with Fiora, but you basically have all the protection in the world for your Fiora or your River Shaper. Um, but that's that's like the, the one thing, is I kind of want to find a room room for another Deny. Because uh, Deny is your only, only option for Ruination and Vengeance. Those two cards, you can't use any of these other things. You need to Deny. I, just, I don't know where to fit that, where to fit that space in. I guess if I had to choose... If I had to choose, it'd maybe be the Bright Steel Protector. Or even just the Shadow Assassin. Shadow Assassin's a great card, but it's not exactly what our deck's about. We could probably get away with just two Shadow Assassins. Probably one of those two. Yeah, and then that'd move it to 20 unit, 20 spell. I'd say a Shadow Assassin. <clears throat> yeah. 
deny, 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 deny. There it is. Yeah, that's what I changed there. Change the Shadow Assassin for another deny. Cool. All right, River Shaper Fiora. So I uh, basically, last words about it is uh, impressive. It, it felt better than, than I even expected. It felt like a, a really powerful deck. Difficult deck to sequence. Um, not, not yeah, so not a super easy one, but, um, but very, very powerful. Our 4-3 here could have easily been, not, not easily, of course, but it could have been probably a 6-1 with different sequencing. All right, but there we go. So that's River Shaper Fiora. So those of y'all watching on YouTube, hit that like button and leave a comment. Let me know what you think of this deck. This one is a little different. Let me know uh, what you think of it. And if you're playing it yourself, how how is it working out for you? Um, but that's all I got here. So thank you so much for watching some River Shaper Fiora. And I'll see you for the next video.